festivity is the 4th of July. Look at this action going on. Pretty crazy, right? I think the fireworks might be happening on this side of the river. Just the inkling. Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the shoes from the undefeated Nike pack. This specific silhouette is the Air Force One, dubbed the Ballistic in the olive green color scheme. Let's take a quick look. <laughs> Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new here today, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. As well as be sure to leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below. Check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks and some great tiers. Also, we've got an amazing merch store. So if you're looking to add some shade gang gear, to your wardrobe this summer be sure to check out that website after this video is over so as mentioned earlier we are going to be talking today about the undefeated nike collab on this duo pack this specific shoe that we're going to be discussing in this video is the air force one ballistic in the olive green colorway be sure to check out the second portion of this video, which will be on the second shoe, the dunk. Uh, but other than that, we are going to start off with the overview of this specific silhouette and color scheme. Then we're going to talk about size and fit, followed by some styling. Great color. As you all know, I love me some olive green. That's a nice dark shade that I love adding to my black and gray collection. Then we're going to conclude with how these are doing on the resale market. Also, just want to wish everybody out there a happy 4th of July. Hopefully you're with friends and family today and enjoying this special day and checking out some fireworks by the time uh, this video is up and out to you on the YouTube space. Nothing like a 4th of July meal with the 4th of July menu. That's right, I will take all of the above. 
rodeo burger, chili cheese dog, and side of onion rings. Works for me. Look at this American flag burger. Scrum deliantious with some hot dogs. Ready to chow this down. Boy, try to start it off though. All right, let's jump into this overview. So basically, we have already seen some amazing collabs with Undefeated and Nike. Obviously, some of the most iconic Nike shoes are the Air Force Ones and the Dunks. It actually split some of the staff into pieces from Undefeated, debating which one was more iconic. And I guess they couldn't decide. So here we have it. I'm not upset because now we have a pack. This time, the treatments, though, are swapped. So we've actually seen the ballistic treatment done on the Dunk and uh, that was released in the earlier days and then re-released in 2013 and they are actually bringing it back this time we're seeing it on the air force one the ballistic air force one gets its name from this durable nylon and it literally is durable you can feel it on the toe box there and then we've got just that durable nylon in the olive green color scheme as well as the toe box here this is an interesting leather it feels actually kind of rough and it's been given a treatment that actually looks like it's been weathered which is quite different and very unique i think it goes very well with the nylon that they chose material wise on the toe box as we work our way up we've got this nice air force one silver plate here on the simple black laces and we've got nylon tongue in that olive color scheme with the undefeated logo in that olive green atop the black here so let's take just a quick peek at those first details before before we move on to the side panels. So moving to the medial and lateral side, you'll notice we've got more of that wear and tear kind of look of being weathered on the black Nike swoosh. Underlays of that rougher kind of nylon material with more of the weathered olive leather atop that wrapping around to the back with the embroidered Nike Air on the back with that swoosh mark. Again, we've got the same details on the other side of the shoe again with that weathered kind of leather atop again that rough nylon fabric and weathered Nike swoosh. Moving on to the base of the shoe, we've got just this age kind of effect going on with the yellowing of the midsole and it's finished off with just a simple nice black outsole. On the insole of the shoe we've got nike air force one with some dual branding for undefeated and it's just a nice green ish gray kind of insole with uh white and bright orange for undefeated all right that will complete the shoe let's take a look at those final details <laughs>
All right, so let's talk about size and fit. On Air Force One specifically, I like to size down. I do feel like they do run on the larger size. So this time I did go with a men's size seven, which is a woman's size eight and a half. These fit me perfectly. Again, I do have narrow high arch feet. So for those of you who have a wide flat feet, this may differentiate what size works best for you. But on this one, I do recommend sizing half a size down when you're going with the Air Force One silhouette. All right, so now let's jump into styling. All right, so for the first look, I decided to wear some nice olive tone cargo pants by Ines. You can find those at Culture Kings and they pair perfectly with both of these shoes. That olive tone just really provides a nice earthy look and I think both looked very good with it. I also wore just a simple black tank, the one I'm wearing now. If you're interested in buying anything from Culture Kings, be sure to use my code down below to get your pair of free sneaker guards. Watch me walk away, putting myself on display One, two, three a day, I'm on my way, on my way I'ma have you on tiptoes, watching my diamond after glow I know you wanna take me home, I'm on my way, on my way uh, I don't need your money, you can pay me in respect Cause once I do it big, what's the follow, what's the check? I need a honey bag, nothing more, nothing less And the ops fill away, cause I'm next all right, for the second look, I decided to go with an Alice and Olivia dress. That dress worked perfect because it's got this nice camo look, with the olive tones and blacks in there. I feel like that camo print was in olive tones. I feel like it works both ways with the greens and the browns and both shoes, uh, but just a nice way to kind of dress up both sneakers. look I decided to wear a redone denim skirt I think light denim goes great with both of these colors I paired that with just a nice off-white crew neck again in that cargo print I think cargo just works so well with these with natural colors in both tones uh, but just for a little bit of a warmer look know out of the three looks which one you prefer how would you sell both of these shoes let me know in the comments down below this relief inside and there's no need to hide i'm going all the way up ah, i'm going all the way up ah, i'm letting go in my heart ah, of everything that holds me
now let's conclude with how these Air Force Ones are doing on the resale market. So currently these retailed at $140 and they're actually sitting around retail price depending on what size you are. They're going around $145 to $185. So if you were unable to nab yourself a pair, that's not too high of a price point to be paying uh, above retail. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, happy 4th of July to everybody. If you're new here today, thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted as to when we have all of our heat out on the YouTube space, as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers and our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next episode.